everybody, welcome back to Prissy Beauty. It's that time of the month again for my August favorites. Um, I'm very excited. I know this is going to sound weird because a lot of people might think I'm crazy, but I'm very excited that the summer is almost over. I know. Not a big summer girl kind of thing. I'm very excited about fall and pumpkin spice lattes and all that good stuff and pumpkin picking, apple picking. But the whole summer thing I'm not too crazy about. But I do have a few products I want to talk to you about today as my favorites for the month. Not a lot of different products, but just, um, you know, some things that became part of my routine um, on a daily basis for the month of August. So to start, I want to start with the primer. And it is the uh, Laura Geller Spackle um, Tinted Under Makeup Primer. My shade is in Champagne. I believe there are uh, other types out there that are not tinted this one is tinted and when you look in the and you when you put it on and I'll show a close-up for you it looks scary because it looks very uh, shimmery but when you spread it out in out in your face and it really it, the whole shimmery thing almost disappears if anything it just leaves that little natural glow underneath your foundation which is kind of nice um, nothing too overpowering um, very very nice primer it is not that type of primer that um, claims to fill in your pores so it's just that sort of more like liquidy lotiony kind of primer that just helps your makeup stay in place in place longer um, and it helps smooth out the texture of your skin but nothing like filling in the pores or anything like that so if you're looking for a primer with that type of claim you have to get a different one this one is pretty good but it's not that um, fill in your pores type of primer, but I do like it and I like the fact that it is a little Glowy so under your foundation if you're wearing a foundation, it's not necessarily Dewy finish. This is a good good primer for you um, Next I want to talk about a palette which I just recently did a, a video uh, Swatching and, and talking about which is the Lorac unzipped palette. I love this palette. I think it's probably one of the most beautiful neutral shimmery palettes out there. I am wearing it today. It's, you know, it, it is a, a get ready with me video that I filmed just recently. Um, love this palette. I cannot say enough good things about it. It's beautiful. All the shades are very wearable. Uh, my two favorite shades at the moment are the Unreal and the Unconditional. So it's this one and this one here. This one all over the lid, this one on the crease, and then this one here on the inner corner and then under your brow bone. And you're set to go and it's a very neutral, nice look for an everyday wear, to go to work, school, whatever you do. Love this palette, definitely my favorite for the month. No questions. Um, next I have a bronzer by The Balm, which is the Bahama Mama bronzer. Um, I've had this bronzer for a little while and I start wearing it now after, you know, it's sort of like in my rotation for whatever bronzer. I try to change bronzer and blushes every month, therefore they become my favorite. So this is definitely part of my rotation for the month and I do love this this bronzer. It is a matte bronzer, perfect for contouring and even if you just want to use it to dust off all over your face to give you some nice and, and you know, bronze look. This is definitely perfect, love it, the packaging is super cute, and it's the bomb, so it's the bomb. <laughs> That's definitely my bronzer for the month. Then I have two blushes to talk about. Um, one of them is part of that uh, Milani Mineralize, I'm sorry, Milani Baked Blush Collection. This is called Terrasol Number no. 4. This blush is probably one of the most beautiful blushes out of the collection of big blushes. The first one for me being Luminoso. This is the second one. It's that natural looking, almost like a bronzer blush that it's beautiful even if you just want to use it to contour your face with it without a, a bronzer. This is definitely hand down one of my favorites from this collection and if anything just any blush from this collection is beautiful so you know, it, definitely my favorite for the month and for, for life. <laughs> Another one I have is a NYX cream blush and this is in CB13 Tickled and it's just this nice shimmery, um, very intense sort of like peach color and it's beautiful to just kind of dab your finger, dab two fingers in it and just slightly dab it on your cheekbones and just kind of give you that little glow 
Don't go too crazy with it because it's very pigmented and it's beautiful. I love all the all the cream blushes by NYX are very nice. I have three or four of them and I love them all and this is definitely one of my favorites. So this is in Tickle. Next is a concealer that I can never have enough favorite concealers. I'm always changing up. I'm always looking for new ones. And this one, it's not new, not a new product. Um, and it's the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. My shade is in 20 Sand Sable. And it's in, it comes in a little doe foot applicator like this. And it's a beautiful, beautiful concealer. Um, conceals your under eye areas very well and it gives you that like, High, almost a highlight effect to your under eye area. Has a, a very long lasting finish. Um, beautiful, I can't say enough good things about this concealer. Um, it has a few shades, I don't know all of them. Mine is in shade 20 like I said. Love this stuff, um, it's been definitely my go-to concealer for the month and again, can't say enough things about it. If you are interested in seeing a review of this, let me leave me a comment below. I'll be more than happy to do it for you. Um, next, I have this eyeshadow primer, which comes with the uh, unzipped palette, and I believe the... Uh, it comes with some other palette. Is it the... Um, uh, Lorac Pro Palette, maybe? I want to say, because I only have those two. It has to be. So it comes usually comes as a is an extra added thing with the Lorac palettes, and it's just a a skin tone primer. Even when you actually apply, it doesn't even give you any coverage on your eyelid. It's just a very nice um, sort of like a primer potion kind of um, eyeshadow primer, which I cannot stay. You know, I can't do without. I have to put a primer on my lid before I apply eyeshadows otherwise throughout the day creases and it looks not doesn't look really fresh so this is definitely uh, it's the Lorac behind the scenes eye primer this is just a simple size I don't have the full size because I have two of these and this stuff lasts a long time so you don't really usually you know go, it takes some time to even go through the sample size so really like this stuff really keeps my eyeshadows in place all day long and it does what it's supposed to do um, next I have another eyebrow kit and this is by NYX. This is the black and gray. So this is the darkest shade they have. I know you're supposed to do your eyebrows like a shade or two lighter, but I feel that if I use the like a brown powder on my eye, my eyebrows and I have very dark hair as you can see and my brows are just as dark, I feel like it looks very very unnatural. I really don't like it. So this one here has a, a light gray shade, a darker gray shade, and then it comes with a little gel and two little brushes. Um, one more like a, a spoolie, and then the other one is a stiff brush that I like to use to apply the gel or the wax. Like, you know, it look, I call it gel because it has the gel function to just put it on and keep things in place. Um, so that, again, this is in the black and gray, and I like the lighter gray to just fill in and you know more in the inner part of my brows but I do have little gaps and stuff towards the end that I usually like to use the darker powder because then one touch with the little tiny eyebrow brush and you're set to go so you don't have to worry about I really like this stuff um, last month I had the um, elf one that was my favorite and it still is I just switch around things you know when you have them so this is definitely my favorite for the month Another one I want to talk about is a Milani lip color. It's the HD Advanced Lip Color. This one in 102 Classy Nude. Typical nude lipstick and is this type, type of skinny um, format. Very, very nice. Um, very typical nice nude um, lipstick. If you have any Milani lipstick, you will identify that strawberry-ish kind of scent to it. It has the same thing. It's very comfortable on the lip. Almost like a lip butter, if you like. But it has the nice... I have other colors. This one just became my favorite because it's a neutral shade. It's easy to use. But definitely a nice, nice call. And I think I mentioned this in a video before. I bought these at a dollar store. Dollar Tree had them for a dollar. I think on the Milani website or other sites that uh, sell Milani products, these are like $6.99, $7. I paid a buck for it. Can't beat that. 
Last, I want to talk about nails, which I have been very negligent with my nails all summer long. And I finally went back to the kind of look that I really like, which is the French manicure. I just feel like it's the most polished look for work and every day for me. And so I have a combination that works very well for me, which is the Sally Hansen French manicure white tip pen. Once you get the hang of this thing, it works beautifully and it's very, very easy to do the white tips on your nails. I can't say good, enough good things about this, it makes my life very easy. Um, I love it. And it seems to, to last a long time too, like on your nails. Another thing I want to talk about in this, if you're Brazilian and you're watching this, I'm sure you know this nail polish. In fact, if you're Brazilian and you're watching this, leave me a comment below. I am wondering, actually, if I have any Brazilians out there that watch my videos, but anyway. And this is, um, if this is a Brazilian uh, brand nail polish. It's called Risque. And this nail polish in particular is called Handa. And it's this beautiful, like, um, it's a, it looks white in the in the container, but it's more like a sheer white, and it's perfect for French manicure. I love this nail polish. It's a very popular nail polish in Brazil. I really love this, and I've worn this many many years. So every time I get a chance to get my hands on this, I buy two or three, two or three, and then I stock up on it. And then another thing I use with this it's this top coat. It's called Out the Door Top Coat. And this thing does wonders for for my my manicure. It makes it last so long that I can't even tell you. Um, what I usually do, I do the the French the tip with the with the pen. I apply this top coat over this, and then I apply the nail polish, and then I apply another top coat. And honestly, my French manicure lasts all all week. It's like a one week manicure without concerns. It's it's great. So. Enough said, this is kind of long already. This, these are my favorites for this month. Um, usually, as you probably have noticed, I don't have a lot of hair products. I don't do much to my hair besides washing it and dry shampooing once every other day. So I usually don't have a lot of hair stuff. These are my favorites for this month. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Thank you so much for um, watching my videos in general. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I know I've gotten a few new subscribers recently, so I wanted to say welcome to my channel and thanks for watching. If you have any questions, comments, leave me comments below. I'll see you next time and bye-bye. <laughs>